Uh, nope. Normal, casual, see, that makes me have to go normal, right? See how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if they give me the option to auto map it, I'm gonna let it auto map. Just because I can draw it with my physical mouse, but that's a lot of swapping between controller and mouse, and. I. Normally, I want to draw the maps, but it would, might be a lot harder right now. So we probably won't know if it's going to have the same slowdown until we get to, like, a battle or something, but we'll see. The Outland City of Tharis. Tharsis? Tharsis. In the uncharted territory beyond that city stands a giant tree called Yggdrasil. It's always Yggdrasil. Legends say something sleeps within Yggdrasil that calls people to eternal paradise. In order to ascertain the truth of this legend, the Count of Tharsis issue, issued a challenge across the land. Reach Yggdrasil and uncover the truth. That summons has drawn countless explorers to the city. Correct. They're... I love the Eternality series. It's not known for being the most visually stunning and impressive game series on any system. So, maybe. That's the hope. You are among their number, a pilgrim to the city with a little to your name, but a blade and a boundless, curios boundless curiosity. This is the only two uh, I downloaded, so if these don't work, we'll have to move on to... We'll have to basically go, well, the emulator wasn't super successful and move on to other things. Just how it is. Nevertheless, you aim to solve the mystery of Yggdrasil and win fame and fortune. Okay, louder than I expected so far, but... Can I... Nope, can't turn it down right now, but that's fine. Hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. It's a bit loud. It's a bit louder. Still showing 30 FPS, but again, it's a static thing. So, are you the new explorer? Welcome to Tharsis. This is the Explorer's Guild, where your kind pools their talents. It's something like a mutual aid society. Yeah, I totally forgot about it, but we'll push through. Now, if you want to operate in the city as an explorer, you have to be part of a guild. Oh, so you want to create your own rather than joining someone else's? Then write a name in the ledger. No, you I've got to turn it down a bit, it's too much. It's gonna go blank for a second, I'm sorry. It's still loud, but it's a little lower. Okay, uh, since I didn't plan for this, I didn't ask people what they wanted to be, so... Whoops. Though your guild will be your whole identity in Tharsis, so think it over carefully before deciding on a name. Other players who speak- yeah, we can't speak past, so it doesn't matter. Viper Land is the best we got, I think. Or we could do V I P R L A N D. Yeah, I feel like that works a little better. Cool. Viper Land. <laughs> the Viper Land Guild. Very well. Here's hoping you can live up to the name. You'll want this. It's a letter of introduction that'll get you into an audience with the Count. A formal letter. Next, you need to register the explorers you want in the Viperland Guild and form an adventuring party. It's up to you who to recruit, but you can't go wrong with a balanced party. You can register yourself, of course. So... I mean, we may as well start with Grim, who probably knows what they want to be. Grim, what do you want to be? For those still watching, we have... Uh... Heavy melee attacker in front line. We have special attacker. Uh, we have potions. Let's be honest. We have potions. A class that weakens enemies at a distance from the shadows with throwing knives or using two blades to go for the kill. We have the tank. We have the sniper, bow user. We have the medic. We have a caster. And we have a dancer. Yeah, there is edge. So I'm gonna assume... Okay. We'll start with potions. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to get back. Okay, we'll start with potions then. I'm gonna have to figure out what Calico and Afro would want. Mitz traditionally usually wanted the healer, so I can keep that, and I usually pick the tank, but I don't know what Calico and Afro are gonna want. Uh, so potions, you've got edgy younger dude, uh, Edna, edgy slightly older looking dude, 
uh, Etna with boobs. No, um, uh, Blood Rain. Blood Rain. H.G. Vincent from Happen. Okay. Oh, there's more colors? Uh, why is that one? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, that one's... This one's got more purple, too, so I feel like that's the one, right? Red and blue. It's gotta be that one. So, okay, hold on. So we've got black and red, red and blue. That is fairly Dante, yeah. We've got uh, blue hair or Edna. We've got black and red, purple. Or we've got uh, more purple or blood rain. I figured you could swap the colors. And Groom wants a dancer. Okay. I feel like it's gonna be that one, but I, I've been wrong before. You never know. Four second coming. So that oh uh, wait. Green hair lady? That one? Gotcha. Okay. Cool cool. Uh da -da. I can't actually type it, I gotta Ooh. Uh nope. I think we went with the yo potions, right? Yeah, I think that's what we usually went with. We do taking pots too. Uh, this is four. It's neither of the above. Okay, so Grim wanted dancer. So Grim, we've got one, one alternate, two. Two ultimate, three, three ultimate, and four, four ultimate. I like they're all pretty decent. But if not one of them like super stands out to me, but I like all of them. Three with the purple or with the gray hair. Purple hair, gotcha, gotcha. Doki. Uh, I assume Mitch would want to be the healer again. Uh, Mitz isn't here, so I gotta make an executive decision. Deadpan mitts. I kind of like that idea. Uh, I'm feeling that one. That's what I'm feeling. Close enough. I mean, by close enough, I mean exactly. Yeah, Calico's probably the gunner. I'll be the sniper. Or, I'll be the, the tank. Which really just leaves us with... Afro Rune Master? Afro... Sword User? Yeah, one of those two. And I'm truly not sure. Calico Archer seems to work, though. Like that one or that one? A lot of drastic difference between the two. Yeah, we're gonna go there. What was that for last time? Uh, last time they were the uh, 
they were either the the prince or the degener. Uh, was it shaman? I think in five. I can't remember the exact name. They tend to like the more supporty roles. We don't really have a more supporty role left, so. So it's a matter. I take the lead. Raising morale. That kind of sounds like them. Uh, Fortress is going to be me. Wait. Grim, Potions, Myths, Calico. Do we make. We get five people, right? We'll make me next. There. So that's 25 left, but we made potions, grim, myths. Oh, potions, grim, myths, calico, mead. That's why. We can't do six. Who usually wasn't there? Usually wasn't Grim, that's why. It was usually uh, Aphra instead of Grim. That's why. Sorry, Aphra. I, but Grim's here. I know what Grim wants to be, and I feel like you both would have wanted the same. So if Aphra sees this, I apologize. I. We'll run for the doctor. So, me definitely front row, right? For sure, I'm tank. Grim, does Dancer go front or back row? Uh, Mitt's definitely back row. Uh, Calico, definitely back row. Aphra betrayed, I know. Front for this team. And Grim, uh, Potions, it seems you can go either or. Do you want to support from the back row or dagger from the front row? If you have a preference. And so both the other end. Oh, so then we should definitely put potions in the front row too. There you go. Okay. Unless you have a strict wanting to be in the back row, it makes sense to put put three in the front then. Most melee too. Okay, gotcha. I know they said an option. Can I hack in lower the volume a little bit? Just a smidge game. Oh, there we go. Oh, much better. It's not even that much quieter, but like, oh boy. <laughs> uh, I want battles fast. Auto map on, because screw it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I know it was, and I kept trying, I can't raise my levels anymore. And every time I went to adjust it, it blanked the screen out, so. Okay. Yes, who made your party then? In that case, go to the Grand Court and pay your respects to the Count. Mind the carpets. You must be more explorers taking up the search for Yggdrasil. No problems finding the court, I trust. It was listed on the map. Welcome to Tharsis, the city closest to Yggdrasil. I'm its overseer. You may call me the Outland Count. Here in my grand court, where there are important duties to be carried out, I assign them to explorers as missions. But of all the explorers who arrive in Tharsis, like yourselves, we want only the best on the hunt for Yggdrasil. Before you can set out on your search, you must prove yourself worthy as explorers. Let's say you to this. Uh, with acceptance, sure. Ah, very reasonable of you. In that case, simply accept the mission I've offered and prove your skills. Excuse me. Head to the old forest mine of the west, find an iridescent ore, bring it to me, and make you explore Cool. I'd like for you to head to the old forest mine on the outskirts of the city and excavate some iridescent ore. We had thought the vein was mine dry, but the other day a certain explorer found that there was more to be had. The iridescent ore is a pretty thing. 
shine light on it and it refracts it into all the colors of the rainbow. I'm going to miss the ability to pick the voices for the characters because we had some good voices. The voices in EX or Nexus were good. The voices in 5 were iconic. Iconic. Mostly the <laughs> justice potion spinning around and the crazy uh, afro. Though I feel like the, the Mitz voice was also really good in that one. Like, I'm gonna miss picking voices. Uh, we read that. Take it to five replay. I don't have that. I, I didn't download that. Like, I own the game, we know, we streamed the whole thing, but like... If I'm gonna play an Entry and Odyssey game, I'd like to do one that I hadn't played all of on stream before. So... This makes sense. Or one of the, uh, the one or two remakes. But it's true, worth is not found in its beauty. I'll explain more about that if you complete the mission. Now, do I understand right that you've only recently arrived in Thoughtsis? You must lack the proper essentials. So I'll pay half of the reward for this mission in advance. Use that to purchase whatever you'll need. Happens to switch- oh man, that would be great. In the original three? Yes. Only three. I started with three. I played four on my own way back before I started streaming. Uh, we played all of five on stream, and it's all on YouTube. And we played Nexus for a long ways until my capture card died, which is why we're using an emulator for this one. We had made it so far into Nexus, it wasn't worth trying to restart it. We were really deep into that one. But also, hello, Paradoxical Nexus. Welcome to Viperland of the Jet. How are you tonight? 50 EN, or 500 EN. The Old Force Mine is a perfect place to test your skills. You need all your strength and cunning there. So I made it up to a twin boss in Lava in 3, which again, we're talking ages ago when that was the newest Etrian Odyssey game, and it worked me so hard I quit the game. I don't remember how far I'd made it into this one. I know I didn't finish it, but I don't remember how far I made it. I'd like to estimate about halfway through, but uh, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Doing pretty good here. We started trying to emulate uh, Bravery Second. Didn't go very well. Emulator slows down a lot. We're hoping it doesn't slow down as much for Etrian, because while I love Etrian, it's not graphically impressive. In terms of pushing hardware. Love the series, but I can't sit here and uh, call it hardware pushing graphically. Once you're ready, head to the city gates, and I'll have a soldier waiting to escort you there. Best of luck. Cool. So we're, we haven't gotten into a battle yet, and we're hoping it's not as big a slowdown here. We'll see. Uh, we need... I don't remember what the store was. This one? Yeah, so you can only hear someone slow down. I'm worried. Huh? I ain't never seen you guys before. Are you them new explorers what came to Tharsis the other day? Like today? The Viperland crew, huh? Well, hey, welcome to... Barooned Atelier. For all your weapons and item needs. Do you know what? If this doesn't work, we can always just swap to uh, Atelier Ryza and keep the Atelier thing. I, I don't know what I'm going to swap to if this doesn't work. I haven't planned anything. I didn't even plan to swap to this. I thought Bravely was going to work. So, <laughs> we're already... I don't know. Eh, most of your needs anyway. It kind of depends on the materials the explorer folks sell us. The more materials you bring us, the more kinds of stuff will sell us. We got a list posted of what kind of equipment we can make you. So if you see something you want, bring us the stuff. Very nice to meet you. Give us a ring whenever you need something for your adventure. Uh, yes, please. I feel like armor is always the thing I start with. Uh, or we won't, because we don't have much. Everybody's already got it, alright? Yeah. Oh, we could do bucklers, though. I feel like we gotta get Viper Buckler. That's pretty important, right? Damn it, buttons, I got this. Honestly, I feel like getting Viper defensive is a good call. Followed by the other front row people. You've got defense of 14, 12. Really? Potions has less defense than the Dancer right now? Damn it. Feathered hat for potions. You can be edgy and wear feathered hat. It's just how it goes. Feathered hat for Grim. 
Honestly, if we can just grab everybody a feathered hat, that's probably a good start. It shouldn't be slowing down in a shop menu game. Come on. Okay, we actually got a little bit of money left, too. Uh, yeah, we can, uh... Give you guys hand armor, too. I should probably have gone weapons, but... Oh, I really should have. Oh, no. All our back row has daggers. Oh no. Oh no. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. I didn't realize everybody had a dagger. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. We got front row fortress, night seeker, dancer, back row medic, sniper. Yeah, we're going to have to get some early money by weapons. Well, we should be able to take a hit or two, right? <laughs> Big whoops. I was so like, yeah, let's not die. Big whoops. I'm not digging that it's already got slowed down. Welcome back. Oh, hi. This is our first meeting, actually. Are you new explorers? I already miss a uh, cat innkeeper. And it's coming for money. Yep. Welcome to the Sarimir so, so Inn. Sar in. mm. Lots of our explorers use this place as a base between excursions. If you get hurt or tired, come back here and get a good rest. We have a clinic in the back, too. You're welcome to use it if you have any ailments or wounds to treat. Uh, we only really need... to save, right? Wow, well, that was, did that really make that sound? Yep. Cool. Be beat here away from to the city gates. You're the Viperland Guild, right? I'm here from the Outland Count. Before we leave, you're sure you're ready for this? Uh huh. Whatever skills you have are useless if not trained. Each party member. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay. Suspend the skills. Yep. Not training the skills yet. Yep, yep. I know how to use skills. I forgot we started with them. So, what will it be? Should we head straight for the old forest mine? Yeah. All right, then follow me. We're definitely going to have to get at least a ranged weapon for the back row. If the front row is all using daggers, we'll live, I guess. I know ruin in the back line instead of a dance in the front lines. This checks out. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a uh, custom, right? So what do we got? Cover some TP each time you're attacked on the front line. See, that sounds phenomenal. Then we attack on the front line. No more TP. Yeah, let's see, we're on the front line and having TP sounds good. And the bash, attack me, cover some HP. Strong bash to one enemy after three turns. Attack increases the strength each time you're attacked before it activates. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, splash effect also damages yourself. Cool. Protects one ally for this turn, takes any damage they would sustain. Protects one lion for this turn, protect the party for this turn. Takes damage in place of allies with under 50% HP for three turns. May block physical elemental attacks against you while on the front line. All of that seems like something I want. It's all allies physical defense for three turns, also good. All allies elemental, also good. Natural recovery rate from ailments and binds. Decent, that's a passive, right? Yeah, okay. A line of allies from one status element over three turns. HP. Chance of any star to you for four turns. Auto taunt. This will an elemental defense for three turns. When allies in your line defend, they recover some HP. It doesn't happen often, but still not bad, my deal. Use a defense against physical attacks. Greater chance of finding extra ore when mining. Okay, so I feel like profici proficiency makes a lot of sense to have. It's just the, the ability to do things. Taunt and straight guard to start. I feel like that's where we're going. The first time I played, to look at this party, two lands, Night Seeker, Medic, and Fortress. Okay. Name was Fortress Land, Dancer, Sniper, Medic. Replace land with Pushy and Medic with Arcanist. 
So, potions. I know they're going to want to go whatever the edgiest way is. Greatly increased damage to enemies suffering from ailments. Hmm. Melee, ice cut attack to one enemy. If not, hit this turn, do another cut attack. Okay, that's not too bad. Melee, instant kill to one enemy. Higher success rate against ailing enemies. Melee cut attack with increased damage against ailing enemies. Multiple melee cut attacks to one enemy. Increases the attack power with each stats I'm inflicted. Sand throw. <laughs> we can give potions pocket sand. Range cut attack to one enemy. May blind. Range cut attack may paralyze. Uh, range cut attack may sleep. Range cut attack may curse. Range cut attack may poison. Can attack twice per turn if two weapons are equipped. Mm -hmm. Weapon attack skills may sometimes activate twice. Mm -hmm. Nulls one physical attack in the next three turns, but it's an activated thing. But we can auto it. Presumably at six points, it's like a very high chance. What does more points do to it? Can I... I used to be... I swear you used to be able to like scroll through them, but I don't seem to be able to see what the higher levels give here. Bubble Trace got nerfed pretty hard, okay. Decoy sign, increase the chance of one ally to be targeted by enemies. So it's forcing a taunt, but we already reduces TP cost, okay. Single skill, feel embarrassed. I that's how I beat five. I don't I don't think I ever went, this is what we need. This one skill, I was like, I want a point of this and 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 a point of that and a point of these. That's just how I tend to go. So we're going to do this. Because there's greatly increased damage to enemies so suffering from ailments. And I'm going to assume potions is going to want to go ailments. If they say otherwise, cool. All the trace also seems like it'll be good. But I definitely want to start with pocket sand. And then Nerve Throw, which will give us early ailment options. Right? Next level we can get that. Sorry, my throat's just stupid. And Grim, do you have a set setup you want for your character? Blind is also kind of with an ailment? I think so. But it might be separate. It might be ailments and binds. I'm not actually sure. I want to say it counts separate. But I, I, I am not sure. So Grim, if you have a set thing you want me to spec and do for you, if not, I'll go through them and just... Just, uh... If the Waltz is tangled, it's almost like by one turn, that seems good. Efficiency, counter, and fan dance. Chance of attacking when an enemy strikes the line for three turns? Yeah. Uh, increase your evasion rate. And that's just a passive? Yeah, I like all those. Then leave it to you. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Mitts. Increase the amount of HP recovered with the party's healing skills. Yeah. I feel like the proficiency is just a point you put in. I feel like that's just, you put that point there. At least some healing. Those status elements might be a good one, too. May stun. Restores HP to the entire party after battle is also nice. Yeah, we're gonna go there. Calico. Bow skills may deal critical hits. Damage from critical hits increased. Yep, even though we have a dagger on them right now. Yep. Yeah, I like things that are like sustain. Sustain up is good. They bind the enemy's legs, just period. Range stab attack to one enemy. Probably gonna go that too. Critical hit rate for five turns. Use drop rate for materials from defeated monsters. Ooh. Party sit rate for five turns. Extra materials of chopping. Damn it, I want all of it. Honestly, I'm gonna sacrifice a little damage right now because I want more drops. And that's all of us, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if the game continues to work out here. Um, bottom screen, where did you go? Bottom screen, where did you go? Um, hmm. Give me a second. We need that. 
fairly important. One second, screen's gonna go blank again. You... Yeah, it should be there. That would make it difficult to play this game. Oh, you get the map in like five steps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Gotcha. Oh, that would be unplayable. As you explore the forest in search of iridescent ore, you notice that you have stopped, stepped on something. You pick it up and see what it is. You see that it is a shining golden locket with space for a small picture inside. Could another explorer have dropped this? If you are curious, you can try opening the locket. Open the locket? Sure. Sorry, it might go blank again. Oh wait, no it doesn't because we got the line on top. We can fix that. Just as you're about to open the locket's clasp... There you go, back to full screen. Someone speaks to you from behind. I'm sorry, but you mind leaving that alone? I'm a little embarrassed to let anyone else see it. You turn to see a sleepy looking man with a sack over his shoulder. His attire marks him as a fellow explorer. You hand the locket to the man, who seems to be a friendly sort. He asks the name of your guild. Me, I'm Whirlwind, he says, though that's really just a nickname. Nice meeting you, Viperland Guild. You're here for some iridescent ore. Yeah, I think there's still some to be had in this old forest mine. How do I know? Because I'm the one who found it in the first place. Here, maybe this will help. The man takes a parchment from his belongings and hands it to you. I sketched in where you can find the iridescent ore. I hope that helps point you in the right direction. Hmm, the map's only half done? Well, that makes this a great chance to learn to draw your own. With that, the man points to the blank map you've opened and explains how to draw on it. Obtained the labyrinth map. Yeah, we set it to auto map because... It's just, it would be a lot to do it with mouse and keyboard and controller. Dungeons in this game have complex and winding layouts. Fortunately, you can map them on the bottom screen. And you produce the walls and floors as you walk the dungeon. Your map is an invaluable survival tool. Yep. All very helpful. And normally, I really like drawing my own map, but I feel like it would just be hard here. How about it? Think you can draw your own? Don't worry. I can do it. Anyone can. The man laughs, though so you are not sure this is a joking matter. But seriously, you need to learn to draw a map if you're going to chase Seed to Silk. That map's your lifeline. When you think you're done with your map with this old forest mine, I'll bring it here and I'll look over it for you. I'll be at the entrance. The man then parts with you and walks back the way he came. You glance at the map he gave you and decide to begin your search anew. Alright. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Is it, so it only auto-maps the floor? It doesn't map everything. Rud. Again, normally I like making my own map, but... Well... As you proceed down the forest path, you eventually reach a fork in the road. Yeah, I guess so. Across the water you see a shining patch of ground. It seems something buried shallowly is reflecting the light. Judging by the map you received from Whirlwind, the iridescent ore you seek can be mined there. But the water between you and your prize is too deep to cross. You frown and begin looking for another route. Doesn't seem to auto-map the water either. Cool game. I mean, like, I can do it. That's just a little cumbersome. By a little, I mean a lot. Small crevice is visible to the wall. Perhaps a person may fit through. Not this way, though. I don't think that's the right one. I think that's the, the auto map stuff. That's what we want. Eh, a touch tricky, but... We still haven't gotten into a battle yet, so we don't even know how the game's going to hold up to the emulator. So, we'll see. Got a little slow down. Taunt. Throw sand at him. Mm. Yeah, screw it now. 
smack of the dagger, smack of the dagger. Back line daggers, yo. Not too bad. Definitely had a bit more when it started the battle. Not, not awful. We are going to be a little lacking on elemental damage for now, at least. Let's go to new monster. New item. New item. At least I know now, off camera, I can hit up my playthrough of Bravely. As you steadily put one foot in front of the other, you gradually become aware of a dread presence. Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot about the Afro Monkeys. A mysterious baboon slowly approaches from the other end of the path with cruelty on its face. You know that there's no shame in avoiding unnecessary combat. A wise explorer picks his battles. If you wish to avoid an encounter, study the monster's movements and slip past it. Yep, yeah, folk stuff. More folk stuff. It's early game death alert, yeah. Just a smidge. This is the foe of this mirror. Yep, gotcha. Foes will also move once for every turn that passes in battle. Be aware of their position during combat. It's so much easier and better to do this with the... If the mouse works. It's not that this is miserable or anything, but it's just like... The touchpad is the better way. With the touchscreen. By far a better way. Yeah, so if we take even one hit, we, we recover the TP we need for that, right? And definitely first goal is getting Calico a bow. We need enough money to get Calico a bow so they can do anything at all. Is it really just do massive keyboard? Maybe. I didn't bind it to that, but maybe. I mean, it's not awful this way. It's not. But it's just, it was better on the 3DS. Which is not a surprise, I don't think. Eat up. All those grasshoppers got one leg. Yeah, we don't need to deal with the foe yet. Before we do anything like that, we need weapon. I think they let me leave, right, and then come back in. Good girl. Again, it's been, technically I've played 4 before, not all the way through, but it has been a long, 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 long time. It was when the game initially released, so it's been a very long while since I've played it. I couldn't even remember what all the classes were until we saw them. And I know there's some unlockable ones, but we'll get to that. I was hoping to get a little more money out of this. It's been a bit since most of us, yeah, understandable. Well, Central Nexus kept us very busy, yeah. You know what? I can probably do. Oh, let's just guard. Honestly, I mean, very early game, and we specced heavily into defenses instead of attacks. We're doing okay. I could probably heal Viper well. But, you know, a decent start. Easy peasy. Unless they make me, I'm not going to worry too much uh, without drawing in the water. If they make me, I'll do it. Hoping they'd auto do that. Impassable for this side. Just assume that. There we go. Okay, see, map's looking alright. Reach the entrance of the old forest mine, Spider Man resting on a fallen tree. Also, hey, Valvin, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to Viperland in the chat. Ah, you again. Making any headway, he asks. 
It is the explorer who calls himself Whirlwind. Heads up, I think there's a nomad baboon up ahead. How about it? Think you can get past them? Uh, I'll be fine. And smiles to hear your answer. Good, glad to hear it. But overconfidence can be a killer. The nomad baboon isn't like other monsters. It's a foe. Still, it's not the most aggressive critter, so as long as you don't stand in front of it, it won't bother you. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend picking a fight with it for now. I know. Always return. Yeah, I'd like to return real quick. In the city? Yes. I don't even think we need to stay at the inn yet. We just need a weapon. <laughs> I don't have an alpha. We need 70 for the bow. 60. Off by 6. Oh, right, shout out is pretty misleading, but yeah, it's been a while since I've uploaded that, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I've been meaning to go back into those and update them, and I just haven't lately, but I need to do that, so apologize about that. We'll try to fix it. Alright, get like another battle or two. Frickin' we were so close to having it. Come on, give me a battle or two. I just need a weapon. We can get everybody else's weapons as we go, but we need a ranged weapon for our ranged weapon back row person. Yeah, I've, I've got all those shoutouts that need updating, including yours, so I need to remember where I set those to and fix them. Come on. One battle. One battle. I understand they want to not flood us with battles in the tutorial dungeon, but like, come on game, <laughs> please. Give me a fight. There we go. I'm assuming you couldn't get one in that little early area. Two steps as well, so yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? All right, maybe we'll get a level from it too. Wouldn't mind having enough to also stay at the end if we need the TP. Did not check how much uh, TP that used, or how much. Uh, EN that used. Yeah, tutorial dungeon. Gotta start somewhere, yo. Put it into the PS5. That would be a, a hell of a leap. Like, I'd, I'd play it, but I'd say it's a little more likely on the, the Switch. Just a smidgen. Speed it then, true. True. I'm still a little mad that there's no way to transfer or back up a save file from the 3DS to the computer, because if so, I own Nexus, I'd have no guilt in emulating it, just like this one, and if I could get my file, I'd love to keep playing it, but I can't. There's no way I can find without software modding the potions character art. Yeah, potions always go to the edgy characters, and that's the art they picked. Everybody here picked their ones, except Mitz and Calico who I just assumed, and I might be wrong. We'll see. But the front line picked their stuff. For me... I feel like having at least a point in all the taunt would be nice. See, I want all of this. We should get at least one point of elemental guard. I don't know if we'll need it yet, but like we should get at least one point into that early. Draw rate up is good too. We should have at least one point in the ability to... That's true, you can reclass later, and we... Yeah, we betrayed Afro. I'm sorry. Sorry. One point in Nerve Throw. Grim. Mine recovers HP at the end of a turn for three turns. Physical attack is increased. Vision rate. Might as well do this so we can start going further along. Oh, damn it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't notice in time. Next points will go to Fan Dance. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next points, though. Uh, patch up is probably good. 
Just had the idea of Asian dancer. I'm, I'm all for that. We should do at least a point long shot. Okay. Another battle or two just to get another drop or two so we can get that weapon. Then we can actually try to go through here. Everybody will have a good amount of defense. Everybody will have some sort of weapon. It teaches you that going for max points on skill is not always a good idea. I don't know if I ever maxed out a skill on it. Also, hello, Bogs. Bogs skill? Welcome to the Random Chat. How are you doing tonight? Start the early game with all points of evasion. Your dodge boss mechanic. <laughs> yeah, that might work. I'm not even going to taunt this fool. I definitely remember, I played this one when it came out, Boggs, but I didn't, uh, I didn't play a ton of it. I did beat 5, and I definitely remember there were a lot of skills in 5 where it's like, I'd get it to 9 out of 10, or whatever out of whatever, 1, minus 1. Because there were a lot of them that's like, wow, the damage goes up, but that TP cost is stupid, I ain't doing that. So yeah, there's definitely quite a few where I've been like, mm, -mm no, no, that's fine. We mistakenly forgot to buy a weapon for a ranged character, which is why we're just grinding this first little area real quick. So, we're going to get to progression in a minute, but we, we have a an archer and we forgot to buy her a weapon. So, <laughs> I just assumed she started with a bow. She don't. This is fine. We'll be okay. We'll, we'll get a few, another drop or two, head back, get some TP, which is actually doing okay. Yeah, yeah, we're doing alright. Five was five was the only one I've ever beaten. You're right. It was silly, uh, silly, crazy to think archers would start with a bow. Okay. Yeah, five is the only one I've ever finished. I've played three, four, five, and Nexus, but I did not finish three, four, or Nexus. Five we beat on the easier difficulty, mind you, but we did do it. There we go. Everyone else can kind of deal with weapons as they go. We need to be able to attack from the pack row. Uh, we can sell that extra dagger uh, for 10. So like, yes, we can sell it, but not for enough. How much does it cost to stay here? That's fine. It costs us a dagger. I don't want things to do when you near the monster area pools. Go through the floors, but it's not It's never a bad idea. Yeah. I... The only reason I did five on, like, the easier difficulty is just to minimize grinding. I didn't want to... I usually only stream for a few hours a night anyway, and that was just a game I played a night or two a week. So... I didn't want it to turn into a year-long endeavor if I had to start grinding stuff. This one we're on normal difficulty. Oh, what are they here? As you walk cautiously through the forest mine, you notice an old wooden sign at the side of the path. Go to the final stretch of Willing before the boss. Yeah, it never hurts. And it's a good, like, can you beat them? Then you might be pretty set for the boss. I'm usually a coward and don't do that, but it's objectively a good strategy. Did another explorer leave this? The sign begins, CAUTION, in large bold letters. You read further. From here on lurks monsters of the old mine. Those who mistake recklessness for courage will meet death. Okay, yeah, we kinda knew that already. But, you know, there you go. Uh, what class are you pushing? I think I asked this before, but... I know you said you were a cast. That's not class, I don't think. Also, we gave you pocket sand. I assume you would like that. <laughs> cast ranger, okay. But I think I went cast, uh... Whatever the one that does floaty air kicks was. Brawler? I don't remember what it's called. But the... I, I started with 
kick combos. Finally, back attack. Oh, much better. Vision for all the innkeepers to have their eyes closed? Okay. I never... I never, never paid attention to that, but it makes, makes sense. I... Was it 5 or Nexus that had the, the cat lady? I think it was 5, right? I gotta mix up. The bouncer. Okay, yeah. That's that's what I picked. I'm not hating it, but I might swap if I get the option. The funny thing is, Ranger is going to be my other option. Or Caster. Oh, we'll see. I literally only did one mission, just to see. Oh, Gunner might be what I was thinking of then, yeah. It's a knock. Mitz! Forty-two heckin' bits, mitts. Holy mother of pearl. Hello, welcome to Viperland in the chat. How are you? We have made your character. We made you another healer again, because both the other times you picked healer, and I figured that's what you'd like. But you weren't here for me to double check with you. We can always alter it later if you don't like it. But we started you as a healer, and uh, the chat agreed. Dead. There were like two different uh, portraits we could have. One of like super hype mitts, and one with deadpan mitts. And we all just agreed deadpan mitts was the way to go. So, <laughs> if you don't like healer, we can swap that. But I just assumed you, you were two for two for healer. So, but also thank you for the bits and welcome to Viperland of the chat. How are you doing tonight? Hopefully doing well. Right, let's draw in these honking lines. Am I being healer? Okay. Embrace the oath from this game. Melee bows. <laughs> we can't. We could, but like, so far I'm doing potions just straight status ailments. That seems to be, that fits with previous entries of potions too. So, that's what we've been doing. Also, it gives me a chance to have, it, an excuse to have pocket sand for the hell of it. Just cause, pocket sand. There you go, look, pocket sand applied. Now we kill him anyway, which wastes the sand, but eh, whatever. Pocket sand applied, I said. I think Calico's gonna cover our binds. Potion's gonna cover our ailments. We don't really have elements. Technically, Viper can do it, but I really want to spec him into defenses first, so I don't think he's gonna be a good elemental guy. Pocket sand! Okay, I kind of figured that would be approved. I wasn't sure, but was fairly confident. Doing this with mouse is not my favorite. Do do can't do so I feel like it'd be a healer. Okay. So, so I only assumed because the other two games where you were a character, you picked a healer. So I was like, okay. Third try, healer again. As you explore the mine, you find a fan-shaped plant at a dead end. So my mic's a bit low tonight. This is a plant called a traveler's friend, prized by explorers for its for the way it stores water in its stalks. If you are thirsty, you can nibble at the stalk. Though if you are wary of monsters, you may wish to leave. Try nibbling, nibble. More out of curiosity than actual thirst, you decide to nibble the stalk of the traveler's friend. Later on, there's a healer that makes enemies suffer. Oh, see, there you go then. The water stored within has a raw smell to it, but it still helps to alleviate some of your exhaustion. Party recovers HP. Outside of the forest, modest gift, you turn back to resume your exploration. Cool. Only then do you realize that terrible insects have gathered, clicking their jaws menacingly at you. The brief sucker was well timed. You take your weapons to hand and prepare for battle. Yeah, well, when we get that one, Mitz will swap you over. Oh, hello, big battle. Uh. Santo. Count to Samba. Nobody needs healing yet. Sure. Uh, yeah, your facial expression is noticeable. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's 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 potions now. This is this is what potions. The edge has truly gotten to. 
That's how it is. I mean, clearly you were distracted by other features of the character. Should maybe heal Viper a little, but we're okay. It's not just Edge, it's true, it's not. But it's also Edge. And yeah, we should kill Viper. It's a lewd edge. I know, it's the ultimate form of edge. It's the end game result of edge. We got a lot of legs from that, okay. There are many appealing things to draw your attention to the forest, but do not be blind to the danger. You take that thought to heart and resume your search with even more care than before. You say that, but we we always, always decide to say yes to all those types of things. Though we don't get EXP from them anymore, it looks like. I guess that's a Nexus thing. Wish on a map did more of this for me. Silly game. Making me actually play it. You step into an open clearing in the forest and encounter a soldier standing to one side. The soldier, upon noticing you, hails you with a friendly wave. Hi there. You on a mission? Season 5, the Nexus thing, yeah. I came to investigate this place, but honestly, all these baboons are wearing me out. Aren't you tired too? Telling you tired? No. When you shake your head, the soldier only laughs and hands you a tonic. Trust me, it only gets worse from here on out. You'll be wanting this. I honestly hope that I'm worrying over nothing. He laughs and then waves to you before walking off. Got a medica. You stow the tonic in your knapsack and pick up your explorations where you had left off. Okay. Yeah. Trying to control her with one hand, draw with the other. It's a door. A little too far. Just may as well fill the map over here. Small crevice, go through. Ah, it doesn't update it. It's fine. We update it. I said we update it. Problem solved. Perfect. There we go. I guess this is required then. Yeah, that's that's how pocket sand works now. It's perfect. Also, we do get a bunch of EXP back after after or HP back after battles, right? Uh, dig it. And we got Viper being a good tank. We'll eventually have to actually defend with him, but for now he's tanking what he can. Battles still have a little bit of slowdown. It's not super noticeable. I don't think. When you open the door, you see an open clearing past it. Oh, hello. If your map is accurate, then the iridescent ore can remind the shining spot ahead. But have a care. Have a care. The wandering beasts will hunt you mercilessly, even while you mine from arrows. Press the A button where the ground sparkles to take, chop, or mine valuable raw materials. There's a limit to how many times you can take, chop, or mine a point per day, but the limit resets the next day. Make good use of these skills during your adventures. Okay. That, which I think is still gonna be. Yeah, there we go. And the first foe wasn't a deer. Yeah. Like the look of the Arcanist? We could always. Is that the, the caster? Can always swap around as we go. 
Again, I would have chipped with you guys beforehand, but the plan wasn't this tonight. It just kind of worked out this way. Oh, the unlockable. Okay, gotcha. Then once we get it, I will totally do that, but it sounds like it'll be a little while. Nah, that's not what I meant to do. Well, whatever. While we're here, we'll do that. Got ourselves a... I don't have a chest. It's like an airship, right? How can we use that for now, then? I'm either blind and don't notice the chest, or there's no direct chest marker. Either way, that's fine. Well, exploring, you come across a large box. Would you like to open it? Yeah. Obtained Medica. I assume there's not much on this wall, but like, gotta do it anyway. Okay, we discovered slate. Well, I have to go back to that. Oh, oh, battle. Okay. I kind of wasn't thinking about battles. Santo. Hey, look at that blind. Wonderful. Blind is a ranged one too, so I can throw that at the back row if I want, I guess. I'm pretty much where I was on enemy placements. This one turned that way. I'll go with you. Iridescent Ore! Look at that. At last you have mined the Iridescent Ore you came for. Your mission is now complete. The ore won after many tense moments near powerful monsters is lighter than you'd imagined and feels fragile. After you finish exulting in your accomplishment, you stow the Shining Stone and begin your trek back. Uh, we'll do a quick... One of them. Frame rate, so it is, but it keeps it from de being desynced. So it would arguably be worse the other way if it wasn't tied to it. If I'm explorer whirlwind who gave you your map standing at the edge of an open clearing. If you wish, you can have him review the completed map you've drawn. Sure. Oh, hey guys, want me to take a look at that map? All right, let's see here. You hand him your map, and he pours over it to verify its accuracy. Whirlwind studies your map intently for some time, but eventually his face brightens and he addresses you. This is nicely done, considering the time it took. I'm surprised how well drawn it is. It looks complete to me. This is your map and yours alone. You never know when you might need it again, so take good care of it. You get yourself some iridescent ore? I thought so, since you seemed so pleased. Anyway, that wraps up for your mission. The man congratulates you, and you thank him before parting ways. Oh, I thought you were going to be like, here's like a prize, money or something. All right, you check your knapsack again, knapsack again to make sure that the iridescent ore you put away is still there. The final step before completing your mission will be to visit the Grand Court and report your finds. And we don't want to accidentally sell it. Well done, members of the Viperland Guild. I see you've brought back a fine sample of the iridescent ore. I now pronounce the Viperland Guild to be explorers of Tharsis with my official blessing. 
And of course, there is the other half of your reward to be given. Here you are then. We can buy weapons. Oh, thank you. Honestly, I still think we made the right call to start out. But weapons are going to be nice. Now, to the main topic of discussion. Since you have proven your worth, your guild merits a skyship. It's a vessel that sails the skies, powered by iridescent ore. You'll be searching for Yugur to one. Your skyship is ready now at the city gates. Once you claim it, why not make the Lush Woodlands your first stop? The Lush Woodlands is a large and natural labyrinth currently being investigated by many of our explorers. Two more to evade. Yep, I, I got you. I will be putting those there. Once you reach the Lush Woodlands, head straight for the Pillar of Light you'll see. It's an invaluable tool. Now and stop by the atelier before you go. I sent them my authorization for you to buy certain necessities. Well then, may your way be clear. Alright. As you're about to step into the busy city square after reporting in on your mission, someone calls to you. Hold it, please. I have a message to you from the Outland Count, who we literally just talked with. We literally just left him. The soldier takes a moment to catch his breath before pulling out a letter and reading it over. It says he will be giving you a foodapult. I'm guessing that's equipment for your skyship. Maybe that's why he can't give it to you by hand? It says here it's been delivered to the city gates, and you should ask the one in charge there for details. Got a foodapult. The soldier apologizes for delaying you and nods curtly before leaving. Alright, so we should do the skill points before I forget. Yeah, we really want to get a point into Elemental Guard. Just seems really good to have. Okay. When things go down elementally, we're going to want that. If we do Nerve, though, we got that unlocked for now. So that's good. Potions can do Ice Damage. Hmm. I like Blade Flurry. I feel like potions would want double the weapons. Increases chances on its support. Yeah, I feel like we got enough money to equip. We'll lower the defense a bit and uh, slap another weapon. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna want that. Okay. Want more weapons? I gotcha. I gotcha. Grim wants fan dance. All the way. Oh, also handy. I think an enemy went from a normal attack. Damn, alright. We should do enough healing. We should put a point to refresh, too. Yeah, just eight point for now. Also, it's going to do a lot. Oh, yeah, true. You'll be doing that, basically. We want leg snipe so we can get to arm snipe. When things need to be bound, we want to be ready for it. Dual sword swords go purr. Yeah, I I picked up dual swords on my character just so I can try and unlock that mission, and I'm having fun with them. I only did like one mission, so like didn't do a lot, but it was fun. Hey, congrats on finishing that mission. A guy from the Grand Court told us. Nice going, Viperland. They seem, they seem a good time so far. Now we can finally sell you Dim's Ariande Threads. Ariande? Yeah, Threads. Every explorer gets to have one, or gots to have one, It takes you back to Tharsis whenever you use it from. You ought to buy one right now. It'd be a disaster if you forgot. It actually might. Whenever things go wrong, you need a thread. Begins it here. Okay, that sounds about right. I made the mistake of trying a Twilight mission yesterday, but that Twilight mission was the mission we had just done that started on the beach, and I was like, no, no, this is too much. Uh, it goes, Ramen. Uh, Bravely was getting too much slowdown, and since frame rate and audio are tied together, irreversibly, it was difficult. So I'm going to play that one in my off time, and we're doing this one for now. There's still the occasional slowdown, but it's not as bad. Uh, we need weapons. Viper can honestly last for a little bit. 
we need a second weapon for potions. So you can use swords, longer swords. Do you care what type of weapons you use potions? Do you want specifically like daggers? Do you want specifically swords? Or should I just give you kind of whatever you can use pretty decently? I don't know if your skills require a certain one. Double melee, no. Uh, so far it doesn't seem like you have a thing you can or can't. It seems like you can kind of use anything. Weapons are equipped. It honestly seems like you can use anything. Two arms, two bows. You could do double bows. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but right now you got sort short sort swords. Uh, more like rapiers, maces, bow, staff, dagger, double swords. Okay, like rapier swords or like sword swords. We got 20, 24, that one's expensive though. I mean, they'll all go up in damage eventually, this is just a starter sword. Still quite a bit more powerful than the dagger, like damn more powerful, alright. I feel like sword, short swords thematically works. Replace your dagger. Uh, and, do you know what? We'll get you one of the big swords too. Oh, can't equip! Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha. I should have actually been checking that. Yeah, you can't use maces. You actually can't use bows. You could use a wand. You could use a dagger. It's actually not a bad dagger either. There you go. Double weapons. But we also... Yeah, I know how to equip things. We want, instead of the gloves, the helmet, because it's more defense. Just by bit. Subclassing, true. Eventually you can. Okay, uh... Mitz we should give a staff to, right? Lowers attack, but... More magic? I'm not even sure. We don't have a better bow yet. We do have a better mace. That might be Viper's territory? Yeah. Yeah, big honking mace to Viper. Screw it. I hit the right button, maybe. Uh, and Grim. You can't use a mace. You can't use a sword. We can use a short sword. And we can't afford any more of the big daggers, we hate to say. But this one's still a nice upgrade. Definitively stronger. Okay. Everybody's looking at least decent. Should check if we've got any, like, quests we can take on. And you must be the explorers, newly arrived and confirmed by the Grand Court. My congratulations! Here at the Dancing Peacock, you may accept quests and seek information from our patrons. Completion of these quests is met with commiserate rewards. Many explorers enjoy passing time in this way. Also, just a second. Just so I can play briefly on my own when this is done, I should start charging my 3DS. It's been dead for like two weeks. So after stream, I can actually start up, because I do want to finish Default before, uh, or second before Default 2 comes out. Sit on that sweet, sweet edge, right, with double attacks and status elements. Completion of these quests is met with immediate- oh, we read that. A request I think to be perfect for you was only just posted. Might I ask that you look it over? Sure. Uh, da da We're gonna go on food. Send them some food. East of the lush woodlands. Okay. Oh, will you accept this quest? It may indeed be perfectly suited to you. And sand. The sand painted purple. Of course, it blinds better. A group of soldiers are exploring the east side of the windy plains, but they lack the food to carry on. So your task would be to gather food and drop it off for them. 
The camp is in the forest. I was given to understand that it's in an open area. Freshness is important in food, so you must find and deliver it in one trip. I shall await your switch return. Okay. We must always seek out resources. It's word of a Kapak Grove on the Windy Plains. Find it. That request is from the Governor of Thassis, the Outland Count. He wants you to search for a small grove of Kapak trees. You can learn more by talking to him at the Grand Court. I shall await your swift return. The Italian. I can't keep up with these new Copus orders. Please bring me two rat fangs. That request comes from the Barooned Atelier. They are keenly interested in materials for a sword. They can supply you with more detail of the task at the Atelier. I shall await your swift return. It's darker, you see exactly, it's perfect. Oh, so you took that request, huh? A lot of explorers have been coming around lately. I'm out of junk for swords. So I want you to get me two of them rat fangs. Them tree rats out into lush woodlands can drop them. When you got some, come sell them to me. Don't worry, the money you get for selling them ain't part of the reward. I'm counting on you, so bye bye. Okay, and we're gonna talk to. this guy. Oh, you have accepted my request. That's very reassuring. Are you familiar with Kapox? That tree is not grown for food, but for its several other uses. The smith is a place in these windy plains where many Kapox grow. I want you to search for this Kapok grove. Rumor has it that it's somewhere in the northern side of the Windy Plains. The A2 region sounds likely. Talk like the turtles. Ah oh, man, the turtles. Oh, I'm sorry for my terminology. It's confusing to you. Do you need an explanation of maps and coordinates? No. My apologies. Of course this is basic information for explorers. Now then, if you do happen to find the Kapok Grove, return here and tell me its coordinates. Of course, if you know them already, do not hesitate. Let's have them. I don't. Ah oh, man, the turtles. Turtles and cats. Always more money. A good time to save now that we've done a whole bunch. Alright, city gates. We got a ship now. We get to name it. Hey, you hear of the Viperland Guild, right? I got a request from the Outland Count to prepare your skyship. She's all ready to go. You can set sail as soon as she's registered. So what are you going to name her? What do we name our ship? It's very important. Hmm. I had not thought about this, actually. I knew it was coming, too, and I didn't think about it. Hmm. We could call it... Damn it, we already have Viper. We already have Viper Land. Uh, mm, snake Pit? Kinda. Yeah, doesn't matter too much. The ship name, it's like it's there, but the Snake Pit carries the Viper Land. Which includes Viper. Yeah. Cool. The snake pit, eh? Got it. I'll take care of the paperwork. I made the sky ship myself, so take care of her. I'd explain the controls, but you'll learn faster if you try it out. You can outfit it at the city gates. Which reminds me, got a piece of kit from the Outland Count, right? You can equip it in your sky ship. Uh, hit the fortress with the Reaper. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Man, whenever I think of that fortress, all I can think of <laughs> there's still nine fingers left. <laughs> also, hold on a second. I gotta turn on my fan. It's getting a little warm in here. Sorry about that. I wish I could have left it at a spot that had music playing or something, but you know, it was definitely getting too warm. 
I should have just had the fan on. It's been cooler. I haven't needed it, but I guess I need it today. Come by the wharf when you're bored, and I'll let you guys have some other equipment no one else is using. The cargo wharf might not seem like the place for explorers, but that's where you'd be wrong. <clears throat> I'll explain what I mean when you stop by. I'll be waiting. Alright, to the wharf then. The Tharsis Busiest Trading Hub. Welcome, Viperland Guild. This place here is my castle. The wharf is where Tharsis opens up to the outside world. Many a merchant comes here to trade. Explorers come and go as they please, too, seeing as this is where we fix up their skyships. Oh, speaking of which, let me give you this before I forget. A dowsing rod. That's for your skyship. It should help you find some of that treasure sleeping in the great wide world. It'll uh, help to have clues to find some of it, but you'll have to ask your fellow explorers about that. At the wharf, you can activate the street pass feature. Psh, whatever. We can't. Uh, that's it then. How did we equip the stuff to the ship again? They said it's the, the cargo wharf, right? Well, maybe not. Oh, whatever. See ya. We're all saved and good, so it should be alright. Change equipment. Catapult remodeled to fire bait. The modifications make it useless as a weapon. Toss food one square ahead, or find treasure. We're gonna find treasure. Clearly. You begin your outing in the selected land. Yes, please. First land, the Windy Plains. The skyship you have christened Snake Pit rises from the city gates. As you would expect from the Windy Plains, strong gusts of wind blow across the skies. Some of the stronger winds seem likely to sway Snake Pit from her course. Far to the north of these skies looms Yggdrasil, your ultimate destination. But you will never reach it without understanding how to control your skyship. You review the controls. Discover no land, sky chart, yep. Explore the sky map by piloting your skyship using special actions. Press A over animals or vegetables to gather food. Now you've got that part in your head. <laughs> I, I didn't make that connection when I was playing through the game, but watching The Best of Bears definitely was like, oh, you really can take it that way, can't you? <laughs> Talks about steering wheels, yep, yep. Oh, man. So you open the food menu with people and use food. Automatically sold when you turn to town. Strengthen your party until you turn to Tharsis. We can cook the food. And you can use it to lure foes. And an explanation, yes. The map you received from the Wharf Master shows Tharsis, as well as the, as well as the lush woodlands the Count spoke of. You could head straight for the natural labyrinth, but it might be wise to have a look around first. But be on your guard. Encounters with monsters and tornadoes could cost you your lives. Your skyship, the Snake Pit, is currently fitted with dowsing rods. The use seems to be to discover hidden treasure in the lands below. You review the usage procedures. When skyship is right above treasure, dowsing rods will react. Search here to discover treasure. Uh... Somewhere in that area. Treasure book under books on the main menu. And yeah, I thought Snake Pit kind of worked. I couldn't really think of anything else, but it, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, I don't care about Street Pass because we can't do it. Wrong one. I want to either that button. There you go. Ah, nice little map filling out. Ah, uh, hello, Big Bird. No, thank you. Dowsing Rods, Spirit and Skyship are reacting. Uh, how do we. Dows. You check this spot. Something shining below. You find the Sharp Lands treasure. Contains healing wand. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going straight to Mitz. Mitz gets herself a healing wand, which is probably way better. It's better at attacking, too. Cool. Oh, it straight gives you the healing skill if you didn't have it. Interesting. You obtain some buffalo. Got to do for yourself. You managed to load the requested food onto the skyship. All that's left is to deliver it during this trip. Oh yeah, we gotta deliver it to somebody. <laughs> I remember who. Don't worry about it. I still gotta 
So it paints the ground for us. We just gotta do walls. Which isn't too bad. The skies past this point are outside the bounds of your investigation. Don't go that way, Viper. Okay, so we don't even need to draw those ones. Oh, I remember that guy. That's the guy that punched potions to the moon. I was just going through those clips. I just rewatched potions getting punched to the moon. I remember that. I absolutely forgot it was from this game, but oh boy, he uh, destructive, yo. Time for a live replay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try not to fight him right now. Seems a poor decision. For now. Uh oh, yeah. Well, you can't follow me over water. You obtain great route. New food stuff. Okay. Stop looking at me. You can't get me over water anyway. Just want the food. Baby carrot. The hawks are too high to get now, right? That's for later. Aha! Damn it! Haha! -ha. Damn it! Haha! -ha. Okay, we're fine over here. Figured we get a little bit of lag at the overworld. The most graphically intensive part of the game. Baby carrot. They mentioned we could cook, but I don't remember how we do it. Oh, hello, other ship. There's a skyship up ahead which is unfamiliar to you. Its sails are bright red. You send a signal to the skyship and a woman appears on deck. She's clad lightly for one who sails the skies. There's a long sword on her waist. I've seen you in the city square before. You're fellow explorers, aren't you? Honestly, the warping music makes it more terrifying. Yeah, it's not nearly as bad as it was for Bravely. Bravely was distractingly bad. This is just the occasional, oh yeah, we're emulating it. It's good to meet you. My name's Wiglaf. We might not have guessed it, but I'm an explorer too. Uh, your ship gave it away. And you are? Ah, so you're the Viperland Guild. Throughout your introductions, Wiglaf wears a friendly smile. By the way, do you happen to have any black Taurus? I've been looking so long, but I can't find any. If you pick one up, will you share it with me? We have no black Tauruses. From what you've heard, the food must be delivered within three days. If you find Black Taurus at some point, you can present it, possibly for some sort of reward. Cool. Uh, we don't, but good to know. Uh, hold on. I feel like that. In the land? You see a small forest to the west of Tharsis? It's the old. Oh, it's the mine. Never mind. Okay, so we can land there if we want, but I don't care right now. No! Cranky. Crazy kangaroos. Leave me alone, kangaroos. Ah, yes, harvest the birds too. You obtain Tharsis duck. Got all sorts of food. We just need to learn how to cook it. Then we'll be good. A ship. There's a skyship up ahead, which is unfamiliar to you. Its sails are deep blue. The figure aboard the skyship notices you coming and emerges from the gondola. You mark him as a man clad in steel armor who bows politely to you. Honestly, I know this was a part of the game people didn't like. I liked the overworld map. I'm just a fan of them. I understand why a lot more recent games have kind of done away with them, because it's still a lot easier to just go point to point. But I like them. I do not believe we have properly we have properly met before, Guild Viperland. My name is Korjorn. Kirjunin? Kirjunin. Sure. Oh, for sure. It's it's not awful. And I think it's the only one that did it, right? Three didn't have an overworld. It didn't play one or two, I assume they didn't. But it was a nice little extra layer of exploring that I liked. I am the most lowly of the holy rune knights who serve King that guy. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. How do I know of you? Oh, I'm familiar with most of the explorers of Tharsis. That is all. 
And by the by, I have a request. Would you have any trouts? We do, I think. I feel like the one big dungeon fits that turn. It does, also. I agree. Like, you're not wrong, but it's just fun to have an airship, and I liked it. You're definitely not wrong, mind you. But you have no trouts. Oh, okay. From what you have heard, the food must be delivered within three days. I thought we did. If you find any trout at some point, you can present it, possibly some sort of reward. Is this literally the trout? Grey trout, okay. Nope. <laughs> literally right next to the dude. Uh, we found your trout. You appear to be working hard, Guild Viperland. Not overtaxing yourselves, I hope. Ah, by the by, have you any trouts? Yes. I need it to grant a request from the Outland Count. We knights have a duty to assist the nobility. Yes. You hand over one trout. I am grateful for your hospitality, Guild Viperland. Thanks to you, I can fulfill my obligation to the Count. This bronze icon is for you. It would please me if you found a use for it in your travels. Okay. Bradley bows to you and stares, starts up his skyship. You see him off before resuming your own journey. Is it any good, though? HP and all stats one. Huh. Hmm. Is that better than just straight defense, though? I get the feeling probably not, but like, replacing Feathered Hat with Bronze, yeah, tw yeah, 20 HP is the bigger part, losing some defense. Defense actually doesn't go down too much. Yeah, 20 HP, you're right, that's a good call. I don't think we need the gloves on anyone else. Oh, hold on, we do. Totally forgot. Calico needed more equipment. Um, can Calico not wear the gloves? Well, Calico can't wear the gloves then. Cool. That's rough. I thought I took the gloves off. Oh, come on. I'm gonna hit the right buttons eventually. Yeah, feathered hat. So she can't wear a feathered hat, apparently. So it wasn't gloves, it was a hat. Oh, they don't give you that HP. I was like, wait, Viper hasn't taken any damage. Why isn't he at max HP? Because they don't give us that 20 HP. But we'll get it back from just being in battles. Oh, hello. Could you not? Sugar carrot. Ebony carrot. See ya. Want them animals though. Buffalo. That's what we needed, right? I think. Let's see. Um. Lady with red sails? Are you not here? You're not here. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, because we have what she needs, but I think that's what she needed, at least. Just trying to fill out map stuff. You obtained Tharsis Tuck. You notice a group of soldiers waving to you from the forest below. You recall a request from the bar to deliver food to some soldiers. These are most likely the ones. If you mean to fulfill the request, it's best that you drop the food off at the soldier's location. I don't remember what food they needed. Oh, that's under the book, right? Want to go food? Send them food. Oh, it doesn't matter what we send them. Cool. Uh, let's send them some duck. Pack the thoughts is stuck in a wooden crate and lower it on the soldiers. Uh, it looks like we crush them. They eagerly open the box. After checking over the contents, they signal you satisfied. They seem pleased with the food. The request is now complete. You can turn it in the next time you find yourself at the bar. Cool. Uh, Etrian Odyssey, both streams and archives always do better. It's pure and simple. 
there are still enough people out there that like and care about the Etrian Odyssey series, but there's not enough people who have the means or desire to stream it. It's just how it is. In fact, you taste poison, no thanks. Uh, do I want to cook any of these? Drop rate up. I always like drop rate up. This applies to the whole party, right? This isn't like a one person thing, it's the party. I cook that. Eat the sugar carrot. Foods effect takes hold. Blind resist increases greatly. Luck increased by two. Drop rate increases slightly. That means, yeah. So, like, some of my most popular YouTube videos are hands down Etrian Odyssey. Because just, I guess, other people don't do them. You can see smoke from the soldiers' campfires. They cook the food. How oh, cool. Yay, soldiers. Yay, food. And I, I can't say we're going to set a guaranteed day of the week for this or anything, but like, once now that we've started it, we'll keep it going. You reach the northern end of the Windy Plain. To the east and west are high mountain ranges, far too tall for your skyship to fly overhead. You see a ravine that seems to be the only visible path towards Zygrisil, but it's filled with thick clouds. Visibility is close to nil in the ravine. To brave it with your skyship would be far too dangerous. You also see some kind of monument south of the ravine. You can barely make out a crest engraved in it. I mean, I can clearly make out a crest, but that's fine. Oh, hey, that crest. I'm just exploring now. We'll go there soon. Excuse me. Further south of the monument, you see a large forest. This must be the lush woodlands the Count spoke of. To the side of the forest is the same stone monument that was next to the ravine. It seems too coincidental to ignore. There may be some connection between the ravine and the lush woodlands. Hmm. Some connection. The dowsing rods for an enemy skyship are reacting. Hell yeah, they are. No, that's not food. Something is shining below. You find a high cliff treasure. It contains blind mask. I assume blind resist, which we already have from the food, but still, you know. Greatly increases resistance to blindness. Hot damn, it too. Yeah. So if anything's giving us trouble with blindness, that's what it's going to be. Or well, that's what we're going to use. Uh, we'll slap a... That? Sure. Just something to check for later. Should be looking around, at least get the lay of the land. And there were those heckin' things. When you look directly below you, you can see a vast and lush Kapok Grove. You can almost hear the rustling of the trees, thick with the large glossy green leaves. This is the fabled Kapok Grove. You must simply mark its location so as not to forget and report to the Outland Count to fulfill the request. We're gonna say that one. Sure. When you looked- oh, okay. It's still here too. I guess the grove is large. Grab the birds. I like the idea of just drive by grabbing birds out of the air and like, we're gonna eat these later. You notice that the air has cooled. Looking around, you see cliffs nearby and you hear the sound of flowing water. Looking down, you see breathtakingly clear spring water gushing out from beneath the quay. This seems to be the source of the river flowing to Tharsis. You linger to take in its beauty before leaving. I have the feeling that might be something required for later, if they're going to draw our attention like that. Maybe we'll get a quest for it or something, or maybe not. Worth marking. Baby carrots. Uh, I don't want to go too far down here because we got angry guys. Going to notice me. Yep. Run away. Eh, 
No, they don't even follow me this far. Uh oh. I uh, got a breeze. There you go. Keep that unmarked. Definitely looks to be a breeze this way, too. Me, right? No, it's still a wall in the way. Don't really want to go over there for now, so we'll just go this way. Oh, this guy here too. Yeah, a little bit of a tornado over there. Probably shouldn't fight with a tornado. Just gonna go on a limb and say that might be a bad plan. Chip, what do you need? Hey dude, you appear to be working hard. Have you any ebony carrots? We do! Take it. It's kinda big, you can take it. <laughs> Yeah, let me just fight the tornado. He had over one ebony carrot, which he accepts gratefully. I'm grateful for your hospitality, Guild Viperland. Thanks to you, I can fulfill my obligation. This harvest charm is for you. Ooh. Well, bounce to use starts up a skyship. I assume that's from the icon. It looks to be skyship equipment. Yeah. Which I can only imagine means I gather more stuff when I have it equipped. It's a thing we can land on here. You notice a small forest by the riverside. Cries of birds and beasts echo from it constantly. There are brightly colored fruits on the trees. Many animals seem to flock here to feed on these fruits. You grow excited to think of what manner of exotic beasts you may encounter in this forest. Small orchid, sure. We'll give it a shot. It's not the story one. Oh, the fawns. Man, I've already got flashbacks to that now, too. Uh, so we'll do... Exit. You fear the deer, clearly. I don't even know if I'm really supposed to be here yet or not. Like, it can't be too drastically different leveled, because they let me get here. But that doesn't mean it'll be easy. As you walk a narrow path in the small orchard, you sight something up ahead. He seems... or oh, someone up ahead. He seems to be a Tharsis soldier. Hmm? Do you have business in this labyrinth too? The soldier's cheerful manner is apparent even through the armor that masks his features. How many walls if he puts up? Yeah, that's fair. The worst this place has are a few weak fawns, so this will be a breeze. I'll finish up quick and hit the bar. The soldier seems dubiously confident for a man in a dangerous labyrinth. He leaves, whistling to himself. Yeah, well, we know not to beat up all the deer. Five definitely, or Nexus reminded me of that. A little froggy. Okay, yeah, because we're. We're fine. Ow! We should leave. We should leave. That's the game's way of telling me. Double the healing. I would like to see if we can finish this combat, but we should leave. Hey! Okay, okay. We're managing it, but also oof. Like, big oof. Little Rainbow Froggy, yeah, Little Rainbow Froggy hit me for a stupid amount of damage. Alright. Ow. 
Yeah, discovered new monsters. You're right. I mean, on the way out, we may as well map what we're doing. We'll, we'll come back here. Seems like a little bit high. Oh, we might get another combat on the way out. Is made of lead, yes, apparently. I'm glad I at least taunted. Like, if I didn't, imagine that hitting other people. Ugh. Sand throw. You know what? In case it hits Grim, we'll cover. Does it have to be a successful hit, or like if they aim at Grim and Grim dodges, it still counters, I'd assume. That would be very handy. No idea. We will find out as we go, then. Did not seal the legs. That's not ideal. Ugh, mitts. Okay. Here's a little defense. Again? Okay, blind also works. Hold it down for that too. Good. Needed that. Okay, probably, because we still get the the TP back. Really? That slowed down the game? We get the TP back within this, so that's a good sign. Ooh, okay. Yeah, status is help. It blows through a TP, but boy do it help. Oh, they're just sealed up too. Mm, I guess some HP back in this time. Yeah, like that blew all Calico's TP. But it worked. Stop it. So there's that at least. Tree rat. Oh yeah, didn't we need rat fangs too? Maybe we are supposed to be here. Maybe it's just the frogs that are the biggest pain in the booty. Yep, can't go this way. There we go. We might actually just go back and heal. That took a took a bit out of us. Thankfully, other than the foes, there's no big combat up here. Oh, it's a tornado. Hmm, you're right. You know I ain't doing that, but you're right, it's there. Um, and all those these foodstuffs get sold too, right? So like we make a little bit of money off them. I'm just trying to fill out the map because we have the dowsing rods. Figure we'll fill out what we can right now. Well, we've got them equipped, and then later on we won't have to worry about if we have them equipped or not. Oh, hello again. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, I think we actually did a pretty decent job of finding most of the stuff, other than where these buggers are. Oh, come on. I can hear another tornado. As you travel across the skies in a ship, you discover a large hole in the rock wall ahead. However, the hole seems impassable from this side. As the holes are. I don't really have anything on that one, do we? It's gonna do that. It's not quite accurate, but that's what we got. Yep, I think he noticed us. Okay, not too shabby. Let's go back here, sell what food we got, rest up real quick, uh, and then make for the actual dungeon. Yeah, 191 yen, that's not bad. Definitely pays for our healing. 
Oh, uh, ah, it's you. Welcome. I was speaking with Dahlia about your Viperland guild. It was nothing to be ashamed of. You seem to be doing all of your all to search the small caves at Dahlia's Islands. All of us in the city are grateful for your contributions. The caves have many rare and valuable materials. The more of them you find, the more we shall flourish. I hope that you continue your efforts on our behalf. But now that Dahlia has hungry mouths to feed, I should return to my place of work. Perhaps later, Viperland. Yeah, we've got a few things to turn in too, so yes, perhaps later. Okay, so we've saved. We'll hit the peacock. Oh, we gotta talk to the Count to tell him the location. Welcome back. You had no trouble delivering the food, I take it? Then here is the promised reward. Perhaps I should have you find some food to serve at my establishment. Hell yeah, more medicine. Totally down for being able to heal. Let's go turn in the other one real quick. Find it? Yes. Oh, splendid. Here, point it out to me on your map. Touch the spot to direct them to. These coordinates? Yes. Understood. Then I shall dispatch my scouts to that location at once. My scouts report that they've just found the Kabak Grove. It seems your information was accurate. With these new resources, the city will prosper. As its governor, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've already contacted the Dancing Peacock. You may return there to report in and collect your reward. Hell yeah. You can also get rid of that. Oh. That. Don't need it anymore. Simple scope is accuracy, right? I think. Congratulations on completing that request. I heard all about it from the outline count. Excuse me. The count has a duty to cultivate his city, so it's not rare for him to enlist the help of explorers. It shows full locations. Oh, that would make more sense too. In this way, the city prospers and attracts more citizens. I would be delighted to see Tharsis thrive. Here's a reward you promised. Cool. So close. We should also gather information over here. Uh, Angry Baboon. Number one killer of rookie explorers. Yeah, I can see that. Can't swing at it blindly. Don't skip a defense. Might even want to think about running away. Yep, got that. Finish your mission, let me teach you a few more advanced tricks. Oh. Uh, actually, no, that. I didn't mean to hit it. Proximity gauge, yep. The EXP from Quest, yep. I was hoping somebody would be like, here's how you get a rare drop. Tornadoes, come into contact one, you lose all your food. Also, food before anyone has had a chance to taste it is a tragedy no one should have to bear. I agree. Now, on the initial 11 GB Fantasy Star during the stream with very few interruptions. Very nice. Not bad. Heard a throw it to the kangaroos wandering the land. They enjoy vegetables. I happen to know. Maybe the carrots don't have any other use but to lure those kangaroos anyway. You can even scatter them as bait. Terrifying beast, yeah, yeah, okay, nothing helpful there. Okay, nothing helpful for any of them, but that's alright. We're all saved and good to go, but maybe we can upgrade a little. From frog cheeks. Strap shoes, alright, yeah. Dagger, hat, we're gonna keep the blind mask for now. The defense four. Slightly better for potions. Slightly even better for uh, Grim. But we should probably, if they can equip it. Yeah, they can. We should give it to somebody who can equip it. Oh, they had a feathered hat already. That's why they couldn't equip the other armor. It's not that they couldn't equip it, it's that they already had the hat. I'm just a fool. There you go, Calico's got a little more defense. I think everybody's got a relevant weapon, right? Yeah, so we're kind of good for now. 
give it another quick save before we head out. Don't forget Sir Jude, ship two. <laughs> ship two, if you want to, I know that's where Potions is, I know that's where Kane is. Everybody I've talked to that's playing the game is on ship two, apparently. Unless you've got other people on other ships, in which case, hell yeah, do your own thing. Like, no pressure. Select cave. Oh, so we could just straight go there. Okay. Find rare plants. Okay. Eventually. We're going to stick with what we got. All ship two, most RP. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I figured you knew, but just toss in the info. Did you make one of both ships? I can't see why not. Uh, you seem to only have like two slots per ship, but I can't see why you couldn't have multiple ships. <sighs> Damn it, we had the... Actually, this is the blue one, not the red one. What are you looking for? Trouts, so no. But if we get a trout, we can bring it this way. I'm still gonna try and grab food. on our way to the dungeon, because we can cook stuff, get stats. If we get a trout, we can bring it to that guy. Better trout, I mean. We're almost done with the map around here. At least what we can actively get for the moment. That's why I had to keep the dowsing rod for now. Oh, hello. Uh, we actually just grabbed it. Yeah, take it. Driftwood Dragon in exchange. Alright. I like getting more accessories for free. Uh, we were going to do minimal stuff with the food anyway. Yeah, getting those birds is going to be challenging. So we're not going to worry about it right now. Strength plus one. Lightning resist agility. Blind resist luck. I like luck. Blind resist doesn't hurt either. But I like luck. Alright, let's go to the actual place. Sizable forest spreads before you. The explorers of Tharsis call this natural labyrinth the Lush Woodlands. You see a stone monument at its entrance that clearly looks man-made. Who built it here and why? You will never know the answers unless you step into the maze. You steal yourself and begin your explorations. Tally-ho. Yeah, I, it took me a while to install it and stuff too, so like, just how it is. It's how it do. Oh, this one's straight to Nexus? Okay. Upon disembarking the skyship, you find yourself in the green maze of the lush woodlands at last. The beautiful scenery has a pleasant breeze that passes through, rustling the grass and the trees. Yet despite the soothing atmosphere, you have not forgotten that the place has claimed countless lives. You resolve to test your mettle against the labyrinthine hazards once more. Oh yeah, I love the roots. I don't know if I'll end up using them for now, but we'll get it. So we fought that punching this man? Okay. Uh, then may your journey begin and may fortune favor your guild. The path to your soul begins here. I mean, technically it began in that whole tutorial area, but it also begins here. I'm not gonna worry about paint and water. You spy a mysterious you spy a yeah. You spy a mysterious pillar of light ahead and stop to inspect it. As you gaze upon it, wondering what it could be, a nearby soldier addresses you. True, just level one. A curious thing, isn't it? That's called a geomagnetic pole. The soldier points to the pillar of light and stretches to the heavens. You touch it, and you'll be able to go to and fro between the city and the forest in an eye blink. Don't bother asking around how it works, though. It was here when the explorers found this maze long ago. But it's handy that you could, that you can be sure of. My advice, put it to use, and never you mind the particulars. Don't worry about how it works. It works. Having finished talking, the soldier leaves his place, seeming pleased with himself. Excuse me. You are left free to test out the geomagnetic pole, or to continue your wanderings. Or to hiccup constantly. 
safe. And they do mark the pole for me, so that's nice. Okay, so we got the rats here, but not the frogs. The rat didn't seem to be like, the problem in the previous area. It was definitely the frog. So we should be alright. I hope. Give me that TP. Yes, give me more TP. And honestly, just a battle or two should level us, right? We're, we're doing alright on levels. We're on the XP. Yeah, get wrecked. One battle. I'll take it. More skill points. Got one of the right things we need. I really do want to have a point in probably just Bolt. If we get Viper Bolt, Potions, the Ice one, we cover some elements. Got Elemental Guard, we got Taunt, Boost of Defense Against Physical Attacks, that seems also just really good, right? Just pump points into. I'm also going to really early pick one point in Rare Ore. I feel like everybody should get a point in their rare thing at some time. Okay, sand and nerve throw are good. Best return if two weapons are equipped. You get more fan dance. Mitz gets more patch up. I should probably get to line heal, right? Really should. Only took one point in arm snipe to get the head snipe? Damn. We do want the success rate to go up at some point, but we should probably get. Yeah. Some of these. Damage are still good too. Hmm. Just wanted to get you through it head quicker. Yeah, that could be it. The Pelagia same, only for a surprise switch with the Berserker King attacking instead of the Moonboss. Also, hello, Blue Magic Danny, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to Viperland in the chat. Yeah, it's weird going back to this after playing 5 in Nexus, especially because there were levels in Nexus. Probably more of them if I had just gotten further. Even if I'm not going to put a lot of point into these, I do want to unlock them. Or do I, though? Like... Mm. No, not screw it. Chopping wood. It is, yeah, it's weird going backwards in a series like this that adds a bunch of quality of life all the time. But it is what it is. But it is a little noteworthy to be going backwards. Alright, through the door then. Slow and steady, mapping it out. So Viper doesn't quite heal that much between battles yet. Might have to actually toss a heal their way. Shot, I know. It's also weird after having so many choices in Nexus to have the fairly limited... Like, I know we unlock more as we go, but... Comparatively, pretty limited uh, choice of starting classes. Compared to Nexus, which is just silly. It's just like, oh, okay, here's... A boatload of classes. I feel even five had more, but I might just be misremembering too. Let take down the rat. All right, we don't really have a marker for trees, do we? Nope. As you walk through the halls, you are. Arrested by a powerful sweet smell and stopping your tracks. It seems to be the smell of the sap oozing from the trees that form walls in front of you. 
Hearing that the smell made Lord dreadful beast, you decided to quickly take your leave. Uh, then... I don't know. That? Sure. It's a wall for now. Four and five both have ten. Oh, okay. If you're on a plate safe, feel like you're sitting warm or something, so you're just leaving it overnight. That's fair. When in doubt, uh, not burning things is probably safer. The Nexus had 19. Okay. It wasn't... It was almost double. I was about to say it's not too much bigger. It, it is. It's a lot more. Even though I know it's here. Yeah, it's great. Mapping a more other world. It's still a little frustrating. The one time I wanted to auto map to take care of most of it, just because emulating and stuff, it doesn't. But it it's not the same as literally drawing it by hand when you're using the mouse, but it's still fun. I, I legitimately like the mapping aspect. Always have. I feel like that was originally what drew me to the series. It kept me with the crazy high challenge and the fun of making your own characters. But originally, when I saw when I read about it, it's like, oh, you draw your own map? That's cool. And it is. Probably could just hit auto when I want to all-attack, couldn't I? Down to go. So we should have enough of the rat things going forward, I think. Alright, map coming along. We're just gonna have to... I, when I remember, I'm trying to move the mouse cursor away, but it's definitely gonna end up just lingering there sometimes. The flowers are the one this time. Small crevices are vi yeah, visible. Can't go this way. The usual shortcuts. Two rats. Do I even need to taunt them? I'm hoping not. I should set up auto taunt. At least a point or two, just a chance that it probably would be enough. Oh, they hit Viper anyway, it's great. And we crit in retaliation, wonderful. And rat fangs, oh there you go, they tell us. So we got the two rat fangs we need. this way early enough in a dungeon, I'd rather get the map complete and accurate, as well as, you know, the more fights we get here before we gotta go back and recover TP and whatnot. Map looking alright, looking alright. Yeah, I didn't remember this dungeon until we got to those tree trunks, and then suddenly all the memories came back and I went, oh yeah, I remember this place. Once again, we can just mash through two rats. And if we're going to be doing entry into any degree, I will keep these uploaded to YouTube as well. I'll have to clip out the first little bit of the episode of the of the failure of Bravely. But we can keep these going. And it's it's definitely running smoother. There's the occasional little slowdown, but it's it's really not bad. So I'm glad at least one of the games we did tonight worked out nicely. It's a shame Bravely didn't, but it's cool that this one's going alright. And long term, it's probably better for this one to work for us. We discovered Forest Aloe. We discovered Small Flower. Discovered Aloe. Exhausted. This is a taking spot. Oh, did I? Yep. Just assumed that was the end. I'm curious if anybody will watch the older... Because this isn't... This is in no way a recent Entry Odyssey game. 
curious if people watch it on YouTube. Like, I'm gonna upload it there anyway for my own archives. Like, I want it archived. I'm curious. I'll check it, but let's be honest, it's gonna be a one-way trip. Yep. Alright. As you venture into the depths of the maze, you hear a sudden sound from a nearby thicket. It sounds like intimidating music. No sooner have you drawn your weapons than a herd of monsters leap from the underbrush. Oh. I want EXP, yo. It might run away. I'm gonna risk a leg snipe on it. Hey, okay. there's like a bit. It's the last device for it. Yeah. True. Hey, there you go. Probably didn't use, need to use the TP for Lake Snipe, but whatever. Bonus! You have pacified the monsters, but on reflection, something about them seemed unusual to you. You expect that the shining monster you have vanquished is what they call a rare breed. The rewards that can be reaped by subduing these monsters are many and should not be passed up lightly. Oh, hey, uh, these are different versions, though, right? I know they're not the full version, I think. Still gonna treat it like a stronger enemy. Still mean, okay, that's what I figured. Hey, blinded. If we get the heckin'. Arm snipe too? Yeah, okay, never mind. Wait, we we bound your arms! What heck an attack was that nonsense? We bound your arms, you bastard. There you go. Okay, so we can't do a special, I guess. And Potions is doing some great damage because of the ailments, too. Yeah, 28 followed by 19. Yeah. Everyone else is doing single-digit damage. Potions up there are like, no, no, I got this. Once they've been afflicted by Pocket Sand, they can't... I can't be stopped. Only do like 7? Yeah. You notice know, something unusual up ahead. Stop to inspect it. The ground is littered with wood splinters, and it looks as if something smashed its way through a wall. You wonder what happened here. I think he just had really high defense, because you're usually dealing more than that, but I think his defense is just high. Nothing suspicious over here. At all. We should just keep moving. Okay, no. Uh oh, hello friend. You hear cracking sound from the other side of the wall. Mixed with the violent growl of a beast, and we're very close to being in combat. When the dust settles before you is an enormous bear with gleaming eyes. You stand tense knowing that those thick trunk-like arms could easily pound you into jelly. <laughs> yep, with a red battle meter. We're gonna have to run if we get into combat. Yup, we're gonna have to run. <laughs> Especially with the defense this guy's got? No, out of here. Not this time. Cool, first try escape. Let's, at least while we're going. Breaking the tree trunks? Yeah, the roar of splintering wood echoes through the forest. Rip and tear. There he goes! 
You see nothing? I didn't check the other way, but that's fine. Uh, so now we can... That one's gone, and it's just a pathway. I'll put this here, even though he should presumably smash through it right now. I'm gonna slap it there. There we go. Rip and tear. The world's splintering wood. Okay. All the ripping and all the tearing has been done. Cool. No idea how he's gonna get to me. But he's gonna. Oh, hello, sir. Um, I would thank you to kindly not be all up in my business and let me leave. Wonderful. Bear is sufficiently unpissed off for now. About to get in combat. Should probably wait before going back through there. If I even decide to, I may as well take a look around. Add some butterflies. Could see, yeah, every now and again. I saw the, I saw the path over there, so kind of knew it was there. But it works out nice. Just gotta map some stuff now. Maybe he'll viper a smidge. Or, you know, with the post battle, he'll take care of it. Oh no, Grim's blind. Wait, didn't we specifically eat food to lessen that happening? I guess it only does so much, but come on, and we ate for that. Didn't equip for it. Okay, so he didn't notice me yet. Center. I can imagine there's something over there, but we'll get to that shortly. And all butterflies. We know they can blind. I'm not even going to worry about taunting them, because I don't think they do a lot of damage. I think it's better to just burn them down. Yeah, so you can see this guy's going to be doing 26 damage. It's just the Baboon had a bit of defense. But Potions didn't care about defense because he was also status, and that awakens the, the extra edge of Potions. Then win. Alright, so we should probably piss him off a bit. See if we can't. Get into a battle first, we don't have to deal with that nonsense on the way. And check out his little area over there. No, no more taunting. Viper's not fine. That, that extra HP makes the healing from Calico seem less, but it does help a lot. It does help. Oh, I forgot to check that other thing we got. The Dragoon Buster? Or Dragon Buster? Totally forgot to check that. Just with Dragon, that's it. Charm in the shape of a dragon carved from Driftwood. All stats and TP 10. Probably good for either Calico or Mitz. Hello, big bear. You're gonna... Okay, that's a wall. Maybe I shouldn't have pissed him off. 
feel like maybe I'm not gaining anything from pissing off the bear. We've got a thread in case we do a stupid. <laughs> We're getting into combat as a stupid. Preemptive attack, cool, we can escape them. Wonderful. Alright, Mr. Bear, you can't get me, right? I don't want to have to make two laps through here, so we're just eating as we go. He definitely won't catch me. I mean, if we keep up this pace, he won't, but... Oh, it's just a gathering point? Oh no. Good to know, but we might have to throw it out of here. Yeah, we're gonna have to throw it out of here. Mm-hmm. Uh... Maybe. Okay, hold on. It might be one way, but it's also... our best bit of the way out. We're gonna put... that there. So I know to come back at some point. See you, fool! As you push into the thicket and reach a hidden path, you wrinkle your nose at some pungent scent. It seems to be coming from the plants that grow in the area. I can go back. Oh, perfect. Uh, we'll check that in a second. I, I know every now and again they hide an actual one-way path. Not a, you have to activate it from this way, but an actual, like, haha, you can't go back. So let's get our gathering done first. Uh, before we potentially screw anything up. Damn, three rare in a row? Alright, I'll take that. Um, sure, okay. I don't feel the need to taunt the rat. I probably should, but... Screw it. Extra damage, right? Potions is blinded. Not super ideal. I feel like Potions is going to carry our early game damage, but I feel like Calico is going to really get up there. But it also helps that Grim is in the same line as Potions, so buffs. That's going to be a big deal, too. But the, the extra damage, the extra attack, the ailments... Not to say Calico is going to be in any way a slouch, and those binds are going to be massively useful. Well, that's probably the chest, right? Kind of looks chesty. While exploring, you come across a large box. Yes, open it. Main gush. Would be not Viper. Potentially potions? Yep. Is it better in offhand or main hand, though? 49. 23. Just 23. 22, 25. And extra vitality. Yeah. Main hand. I feel like your main hand still needs to be your strongest one. Alright. Alright. Not shabby over there. When you reach the dead end, you notice a strange smell emanating from wild herbs underfoot. These plants must be poisonous. You decide to exercise caution and avoid them as you gather other herbs. Discovered Forest Aloe. Another taking spot, got a mark. Forest Aloe, nothing else. No, nope, more battles. Yank, 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 yank. Yeah, Alright. Yeah, that's a pretty decent progress so far. Again, considering this wasn't even the plan for tonight, it's working out. We got still an hour left. I don't know, I will finish this floor for sure. I don't remember how deep the dungeon goes, so I wouldn't expect to finish the entire first labyrinth, but that one. We can also dabble into that shorter one too, now that we've gained a little bit of EXP and maybe get some better gear. 
even if we just kill a few frogs, it might be worth a... Uh... See, I wish they showed... Like, that quality of life of, like, showing the things that are expired for the day. So nice. Okay, we can go both ways. Like, I know I've gathered both these, but it would be nice to see that visually. I doubt there'll be another shortcut here, but it's just habit to check all the walls at this rate. Just how I do. Beat up the rats. Take them all down a peg. Also, ow, yeah, as soon as I hit somebody not Viper, it suddenly seems like a lot more damage, doesn't it? Even though everybody except maybe Potions has pretty good defenses. Potions obviously gave up some defense for more wacky sticks and I have no regrets. Alright, Viper. Trying to get this on a Q2. And why is that sad? Also, hey mate, how's it going tonight? Welcome to Viper Land in the chat. Uh, we went mineralogy last time. Yeah, we're using taunts so often. We should set up, if nothing else, draw rate up, but also potentially auto taunt. But we do want iron wall too. Potions. Let's go on blade flurry. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't full blood again. Oh yeah, no. Anything Etrian-esque has a difficulty curve of insanity. And I believe the Persona games had a little extra to them. They were not forgiving. Oh yeah, full fan dance for Grim. I don't know what I'm doing. Mitz. Maybe another point patch up. Keep everybody doing good there. And Calico... Nah, I do want to unlock those. I really want to make sure leg snipe and arm snipe work a bit more often too. They actually had a decent success rate, but I want to keep that high. Digitally so couldn't return it. Yeah, that's the downside. I get a lot of my games digitally, but that is definitely a notable downside to digital purchases. As you trapeze through the short grass, you encounter a Tharsis soldier lounging in a corner. Also, see you around, Sir Jude. Thanks for hopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the goodness of tonight. And get yourself some rest. See you next time. Hmm, you guys are new to me. Do you come here a lot? More to the point, do you need anything? I do a small trade and things from the city to help out explorers. At least have a look while, at what I have. With a floor, she produces a broad bladed sword and a thread and lays them out on a rug. There is 174 yen in your purse. You ponder whether to take him up on the offer or to politely decline. Uh, yeah. I decline his offer. Sorry. Well, we'll mark him as a thing. In case we decide to later. Claimed property check finishes on the journey. The journey to the bank account. Gonna buy people. For yeah, that seems really good. I mean, the extra few dollars for the soundtrack, not a bad way to spend an extra few bucks, too. Sand throw, counter, and bomb snap. Like for 20 bucks, the game's a great deal, period. 25 with the soundtrack? That's not heckin' bad either. It's a great soundtrack. I don't I assume it comes with the full soundtrack. I didn't really look into it. It might just be a partial, but like even at $25, the game is so much content. I love Persona 4. And if it wasn't for Hardcore Reset fan, I would have heckin' platinum that game, but Hardcore Reset fan is a stupid trophy. And if they kept it on PC, you'll see what I mean. Stupid trophy. I could have gotten any of the other ones, but I just wasn't doing that one. Yeah, 
which is a shame because I've I've gone through golden like twice on the PSB or PS Vita, but that trophy's blatantly just awful. You have to hear X number of lines from your from Rise, but you wouldn't normally get that through a playthrough of the game. So you have to actively keep characters underleveled. You have to actively be hit by status effects. You have to actively use team members you wouldn't normally use, which the team members you wouldn't normally use, that's fine. But like, you can't grind, you can't level, you have to be underleveled for most of it. And then towards the end, super level, so you can get all the, oh, you're stronger than so-and-so. It's, it's not just a grind, it's a hassle. You discover a wooden box in the corner of a clearing. There's blurred writing on it. Those who have should share their bounty. Those who lack, take what you need with gratitude. Looking because I'm playing Bug Fables a third time, not even asleep. No worries, Ramen. Glad you're enjoying the heck out of that game on a third run. And get yourself some good rest. See you around. The box appears to be empty just at the moment. You're free to put an item inside or leave the box be. Uh, do we even have a nectar? Chicken Epsec and... Yeah, I have no nectar. Okay. I'm not dropping my only thread. But it's good to know. I uh, will say I can't type box, and we'll also say vendor. Stupid hiccups. Why you do this to me? Open chest in the game for exuberant amounts of play coins too. Uh, you can open chests, but they usually just have like equipment and stuff in them. Sometimes in-game currency, but not always. Depends on the chest. So we got a shortcut to set up, or at least a ways. At some point I should head back and sell what I've got and see if there's any better weapons, probably before I go down. See if we can upgrade our gear a little bit. And recover the TP, because whenever we find one of these guys, Calico burns through some. For good reason, but... We're not too bad on TP, other than Calico, who just doesn't have a lot. Looking chest with three gift play coins? Oh, yeah, that's a stupid gimmick. Play coins were always kind of stupid. This does not have that, thankfully. It's weird Q2 would worry about that, because wasn't Q2 like one of the last 3DS games ever made? Why would they try and like shoehorn in a 3DS gimmick when they're like, yeah, we're not worried about 3DS anymore? Yeah, I, I vaguely recall some other games using play coins, but barely. Even in first-party Nintendo games, it's it's not a common thing to see. So for a not first-party game to try shoehorn that in, that's a little weird. I never did get Q2, because I was just playing other things at the time. Even though it's, objectively speaking, a game I'd like. Didn't really get it. Mind you, I played the first one and it kicked my butt, but I've played a lot more Etrian games since I played the first one, so I might be better now. I think the first Etrian game I played kicked my butt, so that's just how it is. That's what they do. Etrian games kick your butt. Then they do it well. Okay. Pocket sand is proving to be pretty decent at doing its job. It seems to really... Same with the bind. They both... Maybe he's just weak to him or not resistant, but they both seem to land most of the time. The plus side to not doing the 3DS on this, as much as I miss streaming with the 3DS, it's nice to not have to, like, try and fandangle not hitting the mic and still drawing on here and keeping it visible. And the 3DS, if I just tapped the cable on the back of it, would just disconnect, and I'd have to 
fix all that nonsense. So it's nice to not worry about that, I'll admit. I miss the stylus drawing instead of mouse drawing, but, you know, I can't do anything about that. Literally beyond my control, so whatever. And it's possible that, like, some bigger bosses might slow it down a little more, but ooh. I feel like it's been going pretty well. Like, gameplay-wise. No, I'm not gonna try and dodge. We're gonna try and... You know what? We're gonna try and leg snipe so it doesn't get away. Oh, ow. That's true. Uh, yeah, that's actually true as well. Like, it would be a shame, but it would be less a shame than the game is fading into obscurity. So, like, you're right. That would be a shame, too. But it would be better to just have the games, you know, still be a thing people can get and enjoy. Oh, man. Yeah, can't escape. Tee-hee. <laughs> exactly. At least it would be streamable and playable and... Well, it's playable now, but it would be... I'm sure at least some new people would get into it. You gotta burn him down before his leg bind goes away. I doubt we get a second chance on it. Come on, pizza blind. Hey, or kill him, that's fine too. Not shabby at all. At all. Oh, hello, sir. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to move it. Keep forgetting it's on the thumbstick. I went to go click and drag like I would on a PC game. So we need him to break this wall. Hello, sir. So we can take that shortcut. And that would probably be a good time to head back, because it's a nice shortcut towards the beginning. Got a bunch of stuff to sell. I doubt there's a shortcut here, but you know. Oh, there's a door here, though. Another door. Alright, that's probably the way down. We need to. Also, yeah, before the battle happens. It is a bit of a shame we have so much wasted screen space, but it's it's the ideal way to set this up, really. They don't give you a lot of options for the emulator. And the only other one it really does is a way smaller bottom screen, which would be so impossible to see or map. So it's a bit of wasted screen space, but it, there's worse things out there. One day, Grim, just for you. I'll stream Dungeon Travelers too. Just for you. I feel like Sir Jude would enjoy it uh, even more. I could arguably say I'm streaming it just for Sir Jude, but yeah, it's kind of a mix. You would have shared appreciation. It's a it's a game on the Vita. I don't know if it's on other systems. I know it's on Vita. It's a first-person dungeon crawler, Adventure Odyssey-style game, though you can't draw your own map. But every enemy you fight is a monster girl. 100% of enemies you fight are monster girls. Uh, and all of your character outfits as you get stronger get uh, less. But you still... Like, they set you base characters. So like, you'll have character A, character B, character C. I don't remember their names. But you can customize all their classes and everything from there. And it honestly was a game I was really enjoying until the difficulty curve just smacked the hell out of me. I ended up hitting one dungeon where it's like, I can't get past this. I was actually really enjoying it. But it'd be fun to stream that. The the mix of Etrian and Lude. Just, just cause. In my opinion, and mind you, I played it a ways back. It never got super lewd. It never crossed that line. But at the same time, like, it wasn't subtle about what it did either. A shame, yeah. Hey, cash money. New sword, new bow. Staff, we might be able to already have better. New shield, nectar. Damn, damn. Okay, sword short, short. Can get out of here. 
Uh, I might equip that on Calico. I don't know. So first things first, armor for Viper. That's the person taking all these hits. They need that. Second thing second, shield for Viper. Just most of our money, sadly. But we need those. And if we sell the old ones, get us some money. So we probably don't have enough to get any of the new weapons yet. Hmm. Oh, we just don't have the money for that, yeah. We do have enough for the bow. It's a nice upgrade, too. Yeah, we'll get the bow. Yeah. Not bad. Viper does what Viper does better. Hey, you got some in it? Now that we got the rat fangs, we can finally carry those co copuses again. That sword's really popular with explorers since it's cheap, sturdy, and easy to use. I recommend it. Well, tanks a lot. You can get the reward from that lady at that bar. We'll have to grab the sword at some point, but... Report results... back. You've completed this request. I take it. Thank you for your hard work. There have been scant few requests from civilians. You might think of request as a bridge between you and the citizenry here. Here are the threads that constitute your reward. Now you will not have to buy one next time, yes? Oh, so we got an extra thread to toss in the box if we want. And close to another level. Defeat a violet bamboo. A bamboo. Baboon? The communal box of lush local engines is, eh, is being ravaged by an angry baboon. Oh, hey. We know where the box is. Retribution from a beginning explorer. In BF1 of the Lush Woodlands has a wooden box with some, yeah, where some leave items for emergencies. Do you know it? Yes. Box is frequently targeted by angry baboon attacks. Most vexing of those need most. Okay. And drinking there is quite knowledgeable. I figure I know how to take them down at this rate, but good to know. Cilantro. We'll take that request. It's from Dahlia of the Inn. She wants someone to retrieve an herb called cilantro, which grows in B1F of the Lush Woodlands. We probably had some and just sold it. It was deep in the hidden path at the far north of BF1. Very distinctive scent. The area can be hard to find, so look closely. Yeah, we found the area. I need some dragon's blood for a new item. Blues and blade. That request was submitted by the Atelier. They say they crafted a new item using Dragon's Blood. If you would like to know more, visit the Atelier. Take care, and I shall await your swift return. Strip Club? No, this is the, uh, the tavern, effectively. It's where you go to gather, uh, quests and chat with people. But, like, it's, it's got an exotic look. Aged Baboon Hunter. Da -da -da. You gotta wait for the right moment to strike before building a one. When you take on the angry room, best offense is good defense. Okay. That actually wasn't helpful, but we already know how to beat him. Press X to down. Eh, it's fine. That's why people congregate here and share stories and, you know, they're distracted by other things, so they tell you all the tips you need. In passage, we know how to do that. The dragon. If you see it in the sky, don't do anything crazy. Just coming near that enormous bright red fire dragon will provoke it into tearing you to tiny pieces. The puka. It's so cute that no amount of skill will result in anything but disaster. It's said that whoever catches one is guaranteed good luck. But even if you find one, it fluffily... Fluffily runs away. Do they hate me that much? We get some monsters, materials a drop. Okay. Keep forgetting we have a codex, mind you. Ah, uh, the forest frog has a thing, but we haven't really been worrying about that right now. So we got our equipment. Uh, we should rest while we're here. No, actually. We did, and we're healed, but we should save. No, we did our stuff. Cool. Alright. Yeah, it's still got time. We'll head back out. Now, we could go straight to the labyrinth. I'm gonna go above ground. 
so that we can grab food along the way. Because I feel like the food buff is not bad. Even if we just do one to strength, like, the food buff is worth the slight delay of getting where we're going, in my opinion. Also, the hell? What are you guys? Besides the wrong button. No. Well, they go up. Okay. Well, time to leave. Get a few fish and whatnot. At some point we're gonna fight these kangaroos, but not this exact moment. They're still red on the map, so... We can try and head back and fight that other... first dungeon baboon at some point. The one that drops stat books that permanently boosts that. Damn! Okay. They did mention Pugas. That seems handy. 